Welcome back again to Ignite DFW number five. How about a round of applause for Cosmic Carrot? That was pretty good music, huh? I enjoyed that, especially that piano solo part. That was intense. I love that. Hey, I want to thank again, in fact, hopefully clap for these guys that have already, have, have already presented. That was pretty good stuff, huh? So I got to tell you, hey, when I watch the news and I see what's happening around the world and in Dallas, our backyard, uh, it depletes me, right? It's just so hard to, to watch. And so these are the types of events when I get together with a creative community that replenish my spirit. So this is really, I mean, yeah, it's fun, but I feel like what we're doing today is very important uh, to kind of bring us back up to speed because just with everything going crazy in the world, it's difficult. So Again, thank you speakers for having the courage to come up and, and, and inspire us and get us back to uh, solid ground. Our next speaker uh, gave us a very short and sweet bio. Um, basically, he's the co-owner of The Grove. That's it. <laughs> and I guess that's all it takes. Justin Nygren is up next. Come on down. So I was laid off in 2009. So that experience made me question, should I continue to work for other people or should I work on something that I was passionate and felt like brought meaning and purpose into the world? Uh, after that, about three years after my layoff, I started working with, my slides are not going. So I'm just gonna talk about my layoff. It was sucky. Layoffs don't have to suck. Can I just do like a mini talk real quick? Layoffs don't have to suck. They can be the catalyst for some really great things in your life. And I'm just standing up here awkwardly now. It's great. Do I get a do-over? My mojo is way off. All right. So after the layoff, about three years later, I started working with Trey Bowles in a co-working space that ended up not taking off, which led Trey to go work on uh, the deck and I started working, they're not moving. This is not moving at all. All right, so I started working on The Grove, uh, which is a place for us to kind of inject social impact into the entrepreneurial ecosystem in North Texas. Uh, there were already some folks that were working on uh, social impact and social enterprise, but there wasn't a space for them to actually connect uh, and collaborate. So my partners and I took that risk and we started The Grove. Uh, so, for the sake of the conversation, social enterprise is for-profit businesses that exist specifically for uh, positive social impact. And uh, to demythologize or demythalize the idea, and that's not the right word, uh, just look at Patagonia, Warby Parker, uh, Seventh Generation, these folks are leading the conversation um, in the social enterprise world. This is important because we are on the cusp of the world's largest wealth transfer in economic history, $30 trillion going into millennial hands, and they've already started investing uh, in uh, these types of companies. It's huge, right? So uh, the question is, that's kind of on a big global scale. What's happening here in North Texas? What's happening in Dallas? Um, there's some really amazing folks I want to introduce to a few of my friends. Salabukadum. Bam, the dude is awesome. Uh, has Soap Hope, which is a online health and beauty portal that operates on the good returns model where they take their profits and invest in micro loans uh, around the world. Then there is Sam uh, with Roma Boots, took a risk in the middle of the economic downturn to start a, a rain boot company. He uses the profits for, uh, from the company to impact education back in Romania where he's from. You guys can go buy his boots at the shops at North Park. Uh, Tango Tab, Nick Marino Jr. and their team, um, you can download their app, they're based here in Dallas, you can download their app, you can go to restaurants in the Dallas area, for every uh, deal that you use, they buy a meal through North Texas Food Bank for uh, families in, in need. Mike Labuda with Dolphin Blue, one of the only B Corps in North Texas, they are an uh, online home and uh, office supply uh, company based in Fair Park. They also offer free delivery to local businesses. 
Uh, specifically in South Dallas, you've got Candace in Amrit, who started Nine Happy People. They use the profit from their company to do job creation and job training in South Dallas. And Monty Anderson with uh, Options Real Estate. Uh, awesome. He's doing the gentrification model of uh, revitalization in South Dallas. And then kind of on a larger ecosystem uh, perspective, we've got Suzanne Smith with Social Impact Architects. Her organization does consulting for nonprofits and social enterprises to help them continue to grow and increase their impact. Tony Flea with Social Venture Partners Dallas. They are uh, one of the, they're the third oldest uh, social venture partners in the country. And this year, they've actually started investing in for-profit, for-good companies. So like, give a huge shout out for Tony. Then you got Ty with uh, Living Cities. She's the director of uh, collaborative, uh, collective impact with Living Cities. And she's leading up this year the Dallas Impact Investment Collaborative, bringing foundations and nonprofits together to actually begin to invest their money in, uh, in for profit, for good businesses. And then the Social Enterprise Alliance, they do some education, they do some great meetups. I would highly suggest anybody who's interested in the social enterprise to go check out the Knowledge Center on their website. It's absolutely amazing. How do you get involved? How do you plug in? We've got a whole family of people. I'm giving out free day passes to everybody here today just to come down and meet the amazing people who are doing some of the best work in North Texas. Come tomorrow to Wind Down Wednesday, 4 o'clock, and we'll make sure you're taken care of. Um, go to D Innovates and check out the article that Sala Bukadun wrote on Impact City and his vision to establish Dallas as the impact capital of the world. Absolutely amazing, uh, amazing goals. And then to accelerate the process, if you guys are, if that's kind of the direction that you're going in, we're launching an accelerator at the Grove, uh, Unreasonable Institute with our team, and then you got Kate Knight and their group with uh, the Ground Floor and the United Way doing some amazing stuff. They're changing up their whole program this year. The reality of the matter is, is we've been building this bridge for a few years. We need more people to pick up hammers and join us. So if you're crazy like us and you think that you can use business to change the world, let's go.